Well, I think we were chasing the game from the penalty, and uh, you know we were pushing men forward, and then of course on the counter and a couple of uh, you know um, uh, situations where we were lacking in concentration, and then we were gone one and, and, and then another one down, and then we just chasing the game, so we pushed men forward, and of course on the break again. So uh, the main issue is going behind the goal and having to chase against a team that's sitting in, and uh, as you can. See where they lost to the ball, but then they've, they've got us on the counter attack, which is fair play to them. They play the game very well, they sat in, won balls, and countered very quickly. So, I'll go, uh, give a lot of credit to them. All. And, coach, 18 shots in this game, but only one finding the back of the net. What does your offense need to do differently? Yeah, I mean, if you're getting the shots, you hope you get the goals, don't you? But sometimes it's, it's a funny game, soccer, isn't it? Sometimes you can have all the shots in the world and lose 1 0, but. Uh, Again, we've gone one nil down. We haven't finished our chances with our four or five shots in the first half, and could have got a goal or two. But you know that's soccer. That's uh, how it goes. And uh, I'm just disappointed in in our uh, concentration to stop the counter attack. That's what's killed us tonight. How much did you miss Chris and Roberto? Oh well, uh, you can't blame Adam Janowski. I don't think. I think he's had a reasonable game in, in, in goal. And, uh, left him there a couple of times but you miss the left foot of Chris Greaves because he can he can whip balls in behind people so we're hoping to get him back soon but essentially you know I, I'm not looking at any two players we're going to look at the whole uh, squad to be honest. Is there anything specifically for the last two games the two losses after starting the season undefeated? Oh yeah well it, it's hard emotionally we've got to pick ourselves up but again against JMU we deservedly lost I thought against a stronger better team today we've lost again against a counter-attacking team that's played a very, a very good game plan and done well again so we've got to look at ourselves and you know against BU, BU's now a, a very, very good team. They've got a, a strong RPI, strong strength of schedule and that's going to be a cracking game too. So hopefully we can put uh, our game plan into better action and we can do a better job next game. Was the team pressing the last 20, 25 minutes? I'm sorry? Was the team getting frustrated by the last 20 uh, I think so, yeah. You could see the frustration in the play and, and all, all the parts stopped working somewhat, you know, and I think... Uh, we, we, we lost our, our confidence and we lost, our, I think, our a shape as, as a team on the field. So if you lose your shape and lose a little bit of confidence and you get over anxious, then uh, bad things happen and that's what uh, did occur. What positives do you take away? Uh, I cannot think of any at the moment. I think, uh, you know, hopefully it's a learning experience. You've got to look at this game and learn and move forward from it. And moving forward to Boston, uh, now in this game you really controlled possession for most of the first half and then in a lot of part of the second half. Uh, what do you take with you to Boston to tell your team just move forward to that game? Yeah, I think we've, we've got to understand that if we've got possession or off of the ball, it's still a dangerous situation if we keep commit numbers forward wrongly. And, you know, some of the times that our numbers weren't right and we left ourselves bare at the back and uh, so we were searching for the game, but that searching for the game has caused us one or two goals. So again, hopefully we can learn from that.